Now, fresh news is the long-awaited 5th September is here and all eyes and ears are now fixed on the seven Supreme Court benches to hear what the judges will administer as they are ruling that is set to give the way to the political and leadership phase of Kenya. In this video, I'm going to share with you the four orders the Supreme Court may give on presidential election petition and their consequences. Welcome to Cuba News. Now, after hearing the presidential petition, the seven judges of the Apex Court of Kenya are constitutionally given up to today to write the verdict that will be rendered in front of the Supreme Court and the public Kenya. These are the today's positive orders. One, the Supreme Court of Kenya may dismiss the petition by Honorable Raila Molo Odinga, thereby upholding the victory of the President-elect Honorable William Samuel Ruto if more than four judges will agree on the dismissal. And of course, if more than four will disagree, this will take us to the possibility number two where the court will invalidate the declaration made by IEBC chair Mr. Ofula Chebukati where he declared Honorable William Samoy Ruto as the president-elect and this will set a room for the nullification of the August 9th election. The Supreme Court through the Chief Justice Mother Kaome will announce that it's null and void and that's according to Article 138 5 of the Kenyan Constitution. 3. The court will also declare on who to incur the cost of the process. This means whoever who will lose in this case, be it the respondents or the interested party, they will have to pay. I mean, if Ruto wins, Raila will pay his lawyers and all the cost Ruto incurred and vice versa. However, the court may decide if this will happen or not depending on the circumstances. And finally, Four, the seven judges will give the final decision which according to Article 163.2 of the Constitution, their decision shall be final. This means if Raila will win, a repeat state house race will be conducted within 60 days. But if Ruto's victory will be upheld, the president-elect will be sworn in on September 13, 2022 in a public place. Remember to like, to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell. You are watching MQBA News and I'll be right back with more trending updates.